there are multiple different masking tools that you have access to inside of Perfect Layers that allow you to combine multiple photos together. Sometimes, however, when you're dealing with an image that has a lot of complicated moving parts like this photo here, certain tools work better than others. This image is of a tower from below, and there are lots of tiny little triangular subsections here where we need to remove the sky and replace it with one that's a little bit more interesting. Now, the quick mask tool is the one that most people will jump to, and it's an amazing tool. However, it works best when you're dealing with something called a contiguous background, which means that it works with backgrounds where the colors or pixels are all touching each other. So when we try and use the quick mask tool for this background, if I click and drag in an area right here that's pretty big, it'll go through and it's only going to remove a couple of the spots of the background, but there are a ton of little tiny sections that did not get removed. This is where the quick mask tool doesn't do a great job. And there are a couple of other tools that we can use to help remove the bulk of the background all at once. The first thing that you're gonna do is go over to the left-hand side of the screen and select the basic masking brush. Once you have it selected up in the tool options bar, we're going to select the perfect brush option. Now the perfect brush is a fantastic tool. And once I click it, it's gonna open up this dialog box. And the reason why I want to point this out to you is we're gonna be using one of the specialized perfect brush options. Now the way that it works is that it detects colors that you are clicking with the center of your brush and it continually samples colors and removes just those. Now there's a really cool option that you can use with the perfect brush where you can sample a specific color and save that color sample. You selectively choose a color you want to remove and only brush that out. Now I'm on a Mac, which means I'll be using the command key to access this sampled color option. If you're working on a PC, you're gonna be using the control key. So let's go ahead and close out this dialog box and I'll show you how it works. Now the basic perfect brush works by continually sampling. So if I go through and I click and drag, as I go over new areas, it's going to sample new colors and it's going to remove both the blue and the oranges and reds that are involved here. Now what we want to do is only remove the blue. So we're gonna hold down the command or control key and then click and drag. Now, when I go over all of the wires, it's only removing the blue and it's leaving everything else alone. So as I hold down that command key, I don't have to worry about the fact that it's going to continually sample all of these whites and reds and oranges here. I can just click and drag and remove all of this blue at once. Now the biggest thing is a lot of people are probably going to be working with backgrounds that are not just solid blue. And even then, they'll be working with backgrounds that have multiple colors in them. Just by letting go of the command or control key and holding it down again and clicking on a new color sample, you can sample a new color. So if I go through and let's say now I want to remove this orange pole right here for some reason, I can hold down the command key, click on that color, and I can do that as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and undo that because all we wanna remove is the blue background, but you can see that you can sample new colors just by letting go of the mouse and then clicking on a new option. This is a really, really great tool, and it's wonderful for areas that are very tight like this right in the center. Just by clicking and dragging and choosing that selected color sample, I can get nice and tight in all of these tiny little spots without having to worry about removing anything that doesn't need to be removed.